Hello students, today's session is on career planning and is taken by Mr. Vishal Agrawal, a career consultant. Okay, hello students, hi all. Today I am going to talk with respect to career planning. The very most important thing which we require to plan, something which is going to tell you which way you are going to grow, what is going to be a success in life, are you going to be happy in life? All these things contributes and all this is something which will be dependent on your career pattern. I'll ask a simple question. What do you want to become in the future? When you'll be happy in your life? What's the answer? A. Some of you all would be confused. I don't know. You have to still plan about it. Some of you all would have thought of it. Yes, I want to become an engineer. Or else, I want to become a dictator. Or else, I want to become a scientist. If you have decided, if you have thought of it, wonderful. Wonderful that you have thought of it. But is it because you liked it or is it because you have thought over it also? So when you are doing a career plan, the most important thing is what you have to ask is the four W's and one H. What are the four W's? What? When? Where? Why? And how? Whenever you do any career plan, you should always have an answer to all these questions. That's what will help you in your career plan. So that you don't have to look back or you have to take a turn in career. You are all set. Presently, the Competition is so high that students from the 5th standard onwards have been forced to start preparing for the engineering and in medicines, medical line. That's not fair. Probably if you have decided you have an interest in different thing, but if you are saying that because it's competition I want to do it early, then that may not be right. You may be putting yourself in stress. Maybe your interest is something different, maybe your liking is something different. That's what we are going to discuss today. That's what I'm going to sow the seed so that you can start thinking and start planning. Okay? I'm going to go on the session and in during the session or after the session, if you have any queries, you can post it in the comment. We will revert back with you, I will revert back with the answers and you know all the solutions to your questions to the best. Okay? Agenda today is A, we are looking at goal clarity and setting a goal. What is my goal? Is it right career? Is it right match? That is something which you want to plan today. And for this and for the steps forward, I request everyone to have a pen paper with you ready. Pause the video, get a pen paper. Do it now. Okay? It's important. If you are not going to write it for yourself, you are not going to show it to anybody, you are going to write things for yourself, then will help you to introspect and plan your career. Get a pen paper. The so first thing is goal setting and clarity. We will discuss that. Second is choosing the right career and then planning it. Third is I am going to talk about what is super brand. Yes, super brand. I want to see that in you. Next, you have to focus and you have to set targets. What if we don't achieve the target? It's high competition. Maybe you are applying for a particular position or you are applying for admissions. 
Oh, seats got filled. What will do now? You should have your plan B ready. That's the next thing we'll talk about. And third is setting your path and your timeline for achieving success. Right? So this is the agenda for today's session. You're going to go with that. First, the query is in the mind that you should always ask A. I don't know if we are doing a particular course. Is it worth it for me? You should ask that. Everyone says this is good, that is good. People have achieved success in it. But is it really worth it for you? That you should ask. I'll take an example. I'll take an example. Like for example, if you talk about Sachin Tendulkar. He wanted to become a cricketer. He was passionate towards it. He set his goal and he went forward. Good. He had a support of his parents who were there. Father who was there to support him. Because he saw it that yes, my kid, my child is interested in doing that. But generally what happens? Focus on your studies. Focus on your studies. No. He had a passion. He had an interest. He focused towards it. So he found it. That is something which is interest. And he made it. It's worth it. There would be others who are showing an interest. That yes, I am interested in playing. But are you looking at making it as a career? I had candidates who had got into medicine. Because they were top rankers. But then when they came to the second year. Or probably after the first year. In the first year itself. They found that, no, they are not having an interest with the subject. They have to change. Engineers, there have been a change in that. They said, no, I am not liking it. There have been people who have got into an, any other field but say, no, I am interested towards nursing. I had candidates who said we are interested towards sports management. But they had a realization really late. If you had an inside knowledge, a good mind, thought, and in the plan in the mind, I want to do this, probably the, those candidates would have not wasted a year. That's what you need to plan for. So whenever a career is, what you should ask is, is it worth for me? Next, when should I start preparing for it? It depends on which career you are choosing. If you are looking at to become a sportsman, then you require to start planning it, start preparing it from now. Because it is just not about studying, it's just not about mind, it's about your physical abilities also, you should make it stronger. We say it man, Jo Jita, Vahi Sikandar. You have to achieve it. If you are talking about any of a professional course, like if you are talking about a commerce course, it's not necessary you have to do it after graduation, you can become a CACS. You can start a foundation course soon after your 12th also. If you are talking about preparing for the engineering medicine, there are courses which are available from your primary, from your secondary education, from school days. That's you need to plan when you want to start. That depends on your IQ, your interest, your personality also. Okay. So when should you start? That's important. What will I learn? You're choosing a particular career. What I will learn is also other way is again doing asking your self-reflection is what I want to learn. Am I going to achieve when I'm going to do this course? Will I be accepted in the program? What does this question mean? This talks about your preparation. This talks about your interest. In terms of, you are applying for a particular program and you get to know that there are thousands or lakhs of people applying for it. 
so you have to prepare for it according to your caliber and how well you need to prepare for it to take the caliber to a different heights which type of program why is this question important because if somebody says that i want to become an engineer the various specialization of engineering so what kind of engineer if we say you want to become a doctor the very specialization of becoming a doctor which one that's important even if you talk about the courses of your general courses of arts ba bcom bsc within them also there are various specializations or programs is called as majors that you need to plan and next is which institute is right for you it's just not about choosing the right program but which institute you are doing it from that makes a difference choosing an institution is something which talks about the quality of education provided by the institution it talks about the teaching methodology that the institution has it talks about how they empower students to achieve their goals careers planning about which institution is not necessary you choose in terms of in your city no you can look into your state the best no you can look in the country the best program the best college best institution which is providing it that's not alone you can choose in the full world there are career opportunities there are many students of india who are going abroad for career advancements even after 12th because in many of the countries the education curriculum is such that they help you in focus towards a field interest not necessary that oh you have taken science i'm just giving an example oh you have taken science so you have to do physics chemistry maths or physics chemistry biology if you have a interest towards chemistry you can focus towards the subject chemistry that's an opportunity which is available in countries abroad in universities abroad so that's what is important is which institute you are doing it from the institute you are doing from is also talks about we use a management jargon called as roi that is return on investment that you have chosen a particular program is after completing the program are you getting what you are looking forward for or is it oh final mein degree aa gayi ab job dhoono no there are institutions there are universities where there are good placements available where companies comes to search for the right candidate there's a possibilities that you have to plan out there can be more questions but that's what we have to plan when you're doing your career normally what we chose talk about a career when we talk about a career planning a which program to choose why to choose this what will achieve in this program so we talk about generally we talk about a student who is there who is the presently in trend is doing management career option which is available after 12 okay after 12 the student can do a bba can do an integrated mba after 12 can do a mba a person a student interested in accounting finance can do integrated mba program also what's the advantage you will set your goal directly as becoming the head of a institution or starting your own company we talk about the positions of ceo cfo we talk about cto being an entrepreneur all i do it b you are looking at to become a lawyer you can do llb an option which is available after your 12 as well as after your graduation you want to become a professional in accounts you have ca you have cs an entry in the country you want to become a technical professional we are majorly talking about the most look forward as engineering or doctor that is mbbs or other related degrees so depending on that you can choose your career this is what we are looking at 
But which of them is yours? Which of them you are good in? Which one should I choose? All that we need to plan. You have a notebook pen ready? Write on. What do you want? What do you want from life? You are living a life. What do you want in life? Write down what comes in your mind, what do you want in life, so that you would be happy in life. Write down. Okay? Fine? Write in words. Write in words. Okay? Not necessary sentences in small words. Generally, we talk about, we want joy, happiness in life. We talk about fame. We want that people should recognize us. We want satisfaction. We want growth. We want power. We want money. Generally we say we want success. If we achieve all this, we get success. But if I talk about there can be many ways of doing this, achieving this, happiness, joy, money, power. What you require to choose is which is the right way of getting them. Generally, I categorize them, these attributes into three. A, we are looking at money so that we know we have a good, strong, happy living. We want fame recognition and most important is freedom of career choice. That is, we would be happy in doing what we are doing. We don't want to be that we are doing it and coming home, going home, no, is leaving home, going to work, coming home, sleeping, going back and fall in cycle where there is no space for happiness. We are working like machines. If I want to change, I should be able to change. I could bring changes in my life, in people's life, with my work. How do you achieve it? What's your dream? Think of that. If I give you an opportunity to ask you what is your dream that you want to be in future, if an opportunity is given to you, wait a month, kya chahiye in zindagi mein? What is your wish for your life? What you'll ask? Right now. What is the wish for life? Okay. Britain, check it out. You want to become a CEO of a world class organization? You want a Porsche bungalow, Mercedes Benz, a fat bank balance? Lot of money, lot of money. I want to be happy. And most important, all the love. I hope I have increased the hunger, the desire to achieve big, to be successful in life. Because in a career planning, that is something which is most important is they should have a goal of life. Because unless you have a goal of life, you would walk, you would walk in a desert. So you should first set your target. What is a goal of life? What is your goal of life? How to plan a goal of life? Now look at that. When talking about goal in life, when you be successful in life, when you're doing something or you choose something, which is of your interest, matching to your aptitude and to your personality. And it should not be any individual, but it's a combination of all three. We're talking about something matching to your interest, to your personality and to your aptitude. That's in all gives you success. We're talking about now, till the age of 60, 
I'm taking on an average. Your age may be different, but I'm talking about on an average, and we will go more than 60. Okay, on an average, an age of 40 years, career is what you do in this 40 years. How to plan that? How to plan that? That's the decision that we're planning now. The various options in life. Okay. Particularly after 10th, you will have an options if you talk about art, science, commerce, vocational, or maybe various skill development programs. Which one to choose? Which one is good for you? Rather, I will say, I will talk for you. Which one is good for me? You need to plan that. So, I will talk about the various career options, which are the most look forward trends trends in nowadays and then accordingly I will be discussing about each of them and if you have more queries if any of the particular careers there are various offbeat careers also feel free to write in the comment box we can get back to you on that so various career options we talk about commerce art science engineering medicine there are paramedicines which are there designing is there we are talking about hotel management, defense, you can be an entrepreneur, there are various career options available. How to plan it up, which is good for you. I say for that you should do SWOT analysis. What is SWOT analysis? What is SWOT analysis? SWOT analysis is choosing your strength, knowing your weaknesses, knowing about opportunities, knowing about threats. When you are planning your career, you should look at as your personality traits. Which are the main personality traits? We talk about your aptitude, your interest, and your personality. On all these three, which area is your strength? We are talking about, you know that you have this skill sets in you, you have these abilities in you, and this is what is required for this particular career. SWOT. Second is W. W stands for weakness. That is, you know a particular career requires this ability or this skill set but presently you don't have it you need to improve on it or you need to enhance it O is for opportunity that is an area where a, a particular career which is still to come still to come or you see there is a futuristic approach towards a particular career that there will be a demand for this particular career I don't have the skill sets, I need to improve on it. Like if I talk about a decade ago, we talk about computers was new thing. People who learned about the computers, now they have progressed. Because now the computers have become the important necessity. Knowledge of computers has become the important necessity. Next. What we talk about is threat. Threat is we talk about competition. That you are good in something, but you feel that there are other players are there, so I need to become better in that. How to enhance your skills? That's T. That's threat. Okay, that's the plan. So that is what you need to do when you do your career planning. For every career, and to plan your career, you should do your SWOT analysis. Here is the content to give you some points, you know, to help you in knowing and you know, self, you know, self knowledge about what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, what are the opportunities available, 
and the threads, how to plan and how to get them out. Use these bullets to get the answer to your questions. Now, we talk about career planning. As I was saying, most important thing is when you're doing a career planning is that you should know about yourself, your values. Next, learn about yourself in detail. Identify your skills that you have. Research of the various career options which are available. We are there to help you out. Watch this video till the end. We will be talking about various career options. There are career options which we say are art, science, commerce. But there are many others which are there which is not dependent on whether you are art, science, commerce. That we will be talking ahead in that. Then link your major and your career. That's the way you talk about selecting your career. How to know about yourself? We talk about, you should know what you love. And when doing a career, is not only what you love. Next, you have to identify what pays you well. We choose a career based on what is the benefit you are going to have in terms of remuneration or in terms of money. Next, what you are good at. That's the skill sets that you have. A combination of all these three together as shown in the Venn diagram. The middle area is success. That's when you win your career. Now, we look into the various career options which are available. The first most look forward career option in general and talking about respect to the population and a field which will never die which is always in demand, that is commerce field. It talks about economics, it talks about planning money, talk about financial planning, talking about you know, business growth, everything is in commerce. There are various career options available, where are normal as well as professional courses. I have listed down the most important ones. There might be some programs or some particular specialization which are niche, which are not available in plenty. If you are aware of some particular career, want to know more about it, write it in the comment box, we will get back to you. What are the career options? A. We talk about career of charter accountancy. When you can become a charter accountancy, a CA, when you can become a CA, after graduation, you do a course and you can do it. Well, yes, but you can start early also soon after your 12th. You have a foundation course of C. Company secretary. Every company which is there in share market compulsory has to have a CS or a company secretary. Okay. Next, charter financial analysis, CFA. CFA is a person or a professional who tells the individual about how he or she should plan their finances. Cost and work accountancy, it, it is another specialization where it talks about respect to company planning their expenditure. Banking career, management career. Today management is the demand of the time. We are talking about management options are available to you A. After your 12th, doing a BBA or an integrated MBA or else B. You do an MBA after your graduation. Similarly, if you are looking at getting into a professional career, we are talking about becoming a CA, becoming a CS or else in future you want to become a teacher you require to have a master's degree that makes it help that helps you in terms of getting into the uh, teaching profession so now there are even options of integrated mcom programs which is basically programs which are there generally we talk about you do a graduation a bcom of 3 years after that you do a 2 years master's degree mcom this is a 5 year course 
but integrated mgom program a special program which have been initiated at very few institutions in the country which provides you a graduation in 3 years one more year you become an mcom also so in 4 years you get a degree and some institution in in parallel to preparing you or helping you in terms of studies in your bcom and mcom they also help in terms of the ca and cs path so that's the benefit of an i mcom program next arts we talk about arts is basically people choosing it based on their interest and passion there are various specialization in arts but what are the most important things required if you are looking at a career in arts a you should have a very good flair for writing or creativity or personal skills or ability to work under constant pressure that is also important do remember when i say or it is not necessary this or that it can be a combination of two or more variables or the attributes also this is very important we talking about arts career what are the careers in arts we talk about economics we talk about sociology psychology political science philosophy history geography statistics language logic okay that is there after 12 you can do law llb you can do bba or bbms you can do journalism you can do advertising you can do arts and design social work education languages you can do bed you can do lot of other courses also fine arts is another course which is on the arts side that comes towards designing what is included in designing we talk about designing there are various areas of designing so designing doesn't necessarily means with clothes or textile it includes accessories jewelry designing we talk about product designing we talk about animation we talk about graphic designing fashion designing the various career opportunities there where you are talking about a creative mind is required what are the requirements generally we talk about you should have an aesthetic sense finger dexterity you should be good with fingers okay we talking about creativity we talking about ability to visualize in 3d creativity and imagination ability to work for long hours and good sense of color and proportion depending on the field that you are choosing next hotel management and hotel management is a career which is again a field which is a lot in demand and with the increase in population its demand is increasing more now in hotel management itself there are various areas of department in which you can grow based on your interest okay we talk about what are hotel management concerned with food and living space we talking about boarding and lodging we talking about now what does this include different departments are talking about there is food production there is foods and beverages there is housekeeping there is front office there are various areas that you can choose so hotel management does not mean oh only cooking no there are various things fine now for all these courses we are talking about till now we are talking about i have talked about commerce we talked about arts i have talked about creativity till this three uh, three sectors we talked about if you have any queries any questions okay feel free to ask write in the comment box okay. now as i said before choosing a right career is just not based on your interest alone it also will your career enhancement will also depend on which institute you are doing it from and for choosing the institute and getting into a good institution you have to be ready for, with the preparation for the various entrance examinations because it's highly competitive environment you have to excel and so that you are the best next about careers 
uh, in science. Science is a field where you talk about technology and development, which is something which is the most in demand. That is something for which humans are considered different from the rest of the creatures. Fine. Right? So, what is science particularly? What you're looking at is after tenth. When you're looking at science, the first most important thing which is required for science admissions is a good percentage in your 10th standard. Next, what is required is your liking and interest towards the science subject and which is subclassified as physics, chemistry, biology and then maths are as a part of that of a higher level. So, science particularly has various career opportunities, we'll look into it. What are the building blocks? Physics, chemistry, biology, maths. So when you join your 11th standard in science, you have an option of either taking physics, chemistry, biology, that is called as PCB, or physics, chemistry, maths, PCM, or you have an option of taking physics, chemistry, maths, biology, that is called as PCMB. Because there are many particular fields which are there which requires both maths as well as biology. Like for example, I had done my engineering in uh, Bilarish Karma Institution which is amongst the oldest and the top notch college of India. The eligibility for that was the candidate should have taken physics, chemistry, maths, biology. If you are talking about getting to career of biotechnology, you require physics, chemistry, maths, biology. There is a career option of engineering in hospitality that requires physics, chemistry, maths, biology. So there are various careers for which PCMB may be required. So accordingly, you can choose all. What is most career opted or looked forward, which has a lot of specializations, that is engineering. Okay. We're talking about Engineering, we have various institutions in India. We talk about in the top notch institution the IITs, we talk about the BITS, we talk about the NIITs, and there are many other private and universities which are there offering their programs. The various areas, various branches of engineering. Now, which branch to join? That also is a career planning, you know, you should do. It just not be based on what my percentage is based on ranking, but also on your interest. We talk about most look forward fields of specialization are aeronautical engineering, there is electronic engineering, there is electronic and telecommunication engineering, there is computer engineering, there is information technology, we talk about mechanical engineering, we talk about production engineering, we talk about electrical engineering, we talk about civil engineering and 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 there are many more so which field which specialization is something that you choose based on your interest and later on on the performance in the entrance examination what are the main competencies that is required to become an engineer or to join an engineering course a you should have a good logical and quick thinking second you should be having a good problem analyzing and solving skills. Third, ability to grasp new concepts easily and quickly. And it's generally said that you should have an above average intelligence. Okay, fine. Engineering, opportunities after doing engineering. We're talking about you have various technical jobs. B, you have, uh, with, you can do your defense services, you can get jobs into various industries which are there based on the industry, you will have a job profile, job this thing. You can look at doing a higher studies, doing a masters in India or abroad. You can get into government jobs, civil services is most looked forward for. And of course, you can become an entrepreneur. Government of India is supporting entrepreneurs. What is selection process? Majorly, there is an entrance examination. 
Previously, there were many endless examinations. There was IIT used to conduct their own exam as IIT JEE, then uh, uh, RECs used to have AI triple E examination, BITSAT was there, Maharashtra CT was there, various states used to have their own examination. But now, the government has made a very good rule that there will be a common examination called a JEE. Joint Engineering Examination, a common entrance exam for admissions to any engineering college in India, with which the syllabus across the country in your 11, 12 would be same. Right? JE has two divisions, JE Mains and JE Advanced. More in detail about the engineering entrance examination and later about the medical examinations we will do through a different slides or different presentations. Medicine? I'm not saying doctor. I'm saying medicine. Because if you're talking about in medical sector, there are various specializations, there are various positions that you can look for. How is the medicine key areas divided? We talk about medicine also. Generally, we talk about Doctors and everything, they are majorly allopathic doctors. But then, there are other two specializations more for a doctor, that is homeopathic doctor, then there is Ayurvedic doctor. There are some very specialized professional uh, degrees of medicine, that we are talking about dentistry. Okay, that's an available thing. And then, there is also veterinary doctor. Doctors for animals. That's another option available. Next, you can also become a nurse. That's also a career we talk about in medicine. You can also do your courses in BSc, in biotechnology and ad additional courses which are not directly medicine related but then there are career avenues in terms of research. In medicine, there is another career which is called as B farm. That is bachelor's in farm pharmacy. What is the medicine career flow career path? You have to do your twelfth with minimum physics, chemistry, biology. There is an entrance examination, and then you join the college based on the performance in this entrance examinations. What are the key competencies required? You have to have a good memory and good recollection ability because you will have to remember the various chemical names, various chemical you know, formulas and everything in order to give medicines to the patients. You have to do your studies, you have to do your research, a lot is required, so a good memory is required. You have to be emotionally stable. If you are going to do an operation as a doctor, you have to be emotionally strong. You should have a good logical and analytical skills. You should be having good decision making skills and of course above average intelligence. Why do people look forward for medicine? But respect you have fame, you get good money with special profession and there is recession free career. Top medicine entrance examination, previously there were many. There were AIMS, there was uh, AFMC, there was GM, uh, GIA, GIP, MER, there was Maharashtra CT, many but now there is single exam called as NEET, N double -E -T. More about the entrance examination, we'll do it into a different presentation. Next. There are many other careers which are in demand. These have been the various careers which I talked about, which are generally in flow. If we have any queries, any doubts, feel free to write in the comment box. I will get back to you all with the answers for each of your queries. Now talking about various career avenues which are in demand. Defense. Defense, we talk about 
is we talk about defense majorly divided into four divisions army navy air force paramilitary but mind it defense does not mean you have to go and fight does not mean that you have to be on the border with the gun okay defense also has various other divisions there are research divisions there are administrative divisions there is hospital there are various other opportunities opportunities are there in defense and defense opportunity career opportunities starts after 10th after 12th after graduation depending on which level you're looking at what is the most important requirement for getting into a defense career is you have to be physically fit and able to adapt to various situations to tough situations next you have to be disciplined you have to be honest next love for adventures and challenges in life next bold and strong determination excellent leadership abilities which you will build as when you join the defense also dynamic and willingness to take initiatives utmost dedication to the nation and the fearlessness to even sacrifice one's life if required for the country are you ready for that there are opportunities for you next we talk about government jobs a uh, government jobs are something which is in demand for two reasons a for the country to prosper b it gives individual a uh, what do you say a uh, satisfaction for life that it's a long term job opportunity the jobs are available at various skills we talking about from the clerical to the higher level you are all heard about ias officers but there are positions which are beyond ias officers a higher level also more about government jobs we will discuss in a separate presentation in detail career career opportunities abroad yes there are career opportunities abroad a we talk about respect to doing your education abroad and then prospering abroad b you have done your education in india but now you are looking at working abroad that's another options available there are options available abroad not only in terms of technical but also in the non technical job opportunities also if you are looking at education abroad you need to answer the entrance examination for education abroad you need not worry with respect to the expenses because education loans are easily available the government of india the public sector banks even private banks are giving education loans where education loan is just not given for your college fees or tuition fees but also for your living expenditure second is also with the education loan there university which also gives scholarships there have been students of mine who have who have got scholarships for study education abroad like we have students who have gone to phd abroad with 100% scholarship that's there is a career in demand education abroad living abroad it will also change based on which country you are doing it from and the country selection will depend on which career or which profession you are choosing accordingly the career avenues are different the cost of living we talk about the academics we talk about the visa regulations we talk about scholarship opportunities they differ country by countries here i show a small chart of showing the four more uh, most important countries most looked for by the students here a chart showing the career opportunities and the division 
how it goes in this country. Have a look. Now, there are various career options which are there. If you are interested in career options, a full detail analysis what are various career options available for you after 10, after 12th. Okay. In your comment box, request for the uh, career guide book which we will email it to you or WhatsApp to you if you provide your email and a WhatsApp to us. Write in your comment box, we will send you the full list of the various careers available that you can plan for. And later, if required, we can help you with career guidance also. Now, if you choose a career, you want to join a particular college, why should they choose you? Let's say, you have your two other friends who are there, who are looking at a similar career. Why you are better than them? What makes you a super bad brand? That you would be the best and that they should choose you. You have to become a super brand. Making yourself different from the rest. How you can do that? You need to plan your career. Your career, what you want to do. Do your SWOT analysis. And then after SWOT analysis, what are the flags that you can add to your profile? That will make a difference in your career. You have to build the right attitude. The attitude of being passionate about it, being determined about it, being dedicated about the career that you have chosen. What are the main competencies that you require for excelling in your career? The key competencies are logical and quick thinking, problem solving, decision making, Ability to grasp concepts easily, okay. Above all, making your intelligence better and right mentoring and motivation. Okay. The right mentoring and motivation provided by your parents, by your teachers, and we are always there to help you, to for you to help you to excel in your career. When you're choosing a career, it's just not right choosing the right career, but what also matters is which institute you're doing it from. Why the institution is important? Why you should choose the right institution? What are the key factors that you should look in the institution when you're choosing? They should have a good infrastructure. They should have a good placements, that is good job opportunities. A push to work with the best industry best faculties, global exposure. You need to plan your career path. You should have the right attitude. How you plan your career path? Staying your goal focused. Staying focused towards your goal. Consistent preparation. It's just not about doing your homework, but practicing, practicing, practicing. That's important. Revision, that's important. Not worrying about competition, not giving up because if there is com com there is competition. Okay. You remember the story of a tortoise in a higher race? Who is the race? The tortoise. That's what is the way you should now be consistent and then you should be self-motivated and you will definitely achieve success. Confidence matters. Okay. And then you have a seat in the top institutions. Okay. All the best for your career. Plan your career well. Do a proper career planning. Ask yourself the questions. Okay. For your career planning, whichever career you choose. What are the questions you should ask? 
the four W's and one H. Right. Take the guidance of your parents, take the guidance of your seniors, take the guidance of your teachers. Do remember, taking guidance is no harm. At the end, decision is yours. We are there to support you. If you require any help, any queries, write in the comment box. We will definitely get back to you and help you in the best possible way. Any questions you have with respect to your career planning, write it in the comment box below. We will definitely help you. Thank you everyone. All the best for a good career and a wonderful life ahead.